Do you think it would affect your wife's opinion if Nick was not smoking hot? I think he's biased. I, I think it affects my opinion. <laughs> I am very excited to be able to chat with you guys about Handmaid's Tale season five coming to Hulu on September the 14th. Um, very interesting. And I'm not going to do any spoiler stuff, or at least I'm going to try not to. I, I accidentally did. Well, not me. There was spoilers earlier. So I'm going to try to be careful. Okay. Okay. Um, um, Bradley, I'm curious what, what you would say maybe is the, uh, the ratio of, of Lawrence's motivation being sort of survival to, to his code of ethics, if, if you will, like how much of him is propelled by each of those? Uh, you know, I think, uh, I've been talking about this a lot today. I, I, I think part of the power of the show, uh, is, you know, the core of it is this character, June. And part of her power is she's, uh, you see her blow on the spark of decency in Nick and in me. Um, I think she, to my surprise, uh, I think in the wake of the death of, of Eleanor, uh, um, I, I probably could have, killed myself i think i'm aware of what i created and i think that june has shown me a possible sort of path to redemption i also think i'm not uh naive mm -hmm. uh uh in the way that i see june is about how um uh how quickly you can change uh you know a fascist regime in a world which very much like our own there seems to, democracy seems to be uh on the wane and white nationalism seems to be on the rise so it's somewhere in there yeah yeah well, that's that is tragically accurate um, yeah. um max i i my wife and i are big fans of the show We've been watching together since the beginning and we talk about it like so she's she's watched some of the new episodes with me and um or the worst, worst date movie ever. Yeah, it does, <laughs> it's, it's very good for conversation among two people who've been together for as long as we have. I'll say it that way. Um, who have evolved the way we have together. Um, I, I, we had a discussion of, of what does kind of Nick want? And does Nick want to be free of Gilead? Or does he accept who he is, where he is, and he's just going to roll with it and be the best Nick he can be in the bad situation. I I'm curious what your thoughts are. On I am so much more curious about what you and your wife think. <laughs> well, am I allowed to privy to that? Yeah, she, she is much more of the persuasion that you probably, that Nick probably does want to be free. The Nick probably does genuinely in his heart want to be free of Gilead. I am more of the, I think he's developed a, behavior much cl more closely to Lawrence of this is just, this is just what it is. Do you think it would affect your wife's opinion if Nick was not smoking hot? I think he's biased. I, I think it affects <laughs> my opinion that Nick is <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I, 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 I think that I don't think that Nick um, was a particularly developed person yet when he hey. came into Gilead, he was a kid, like literally a kid. So um, a, a kid who was not, who'd not traveled much, was not particularly educated. And um, I don't think he knows anything outside of this. I don't think it's honestly occurred to him that that would really be an option. Yeah. Um, he has no example to point to of something like that, right? Yeah. Um, and I think always for everybody in life, we need inspiration, we need something. Um, to uh, inspire us to take those kind of risks. So I think he is somebody who wants to be a good person. I, I've, that's how I see him. I think he's somebody who's trying to figure out how to have a moral compass, but he has no guidance around him right. um, to help facilitate that. I think in Lawrence, it's actually the first time he has had um, a, a figure in his life who can help guide him with any kind of intelligence. That makes a lot of sense. I appreciate you guys taking time to chat today. That's my time. Uh, again, 
uh, Handmaid's Tale Season 5, Hulu, September 14th. Got it. Thank you for the plug, <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's the wife. Yes, thank you. I will. <laughs> I, 